Oh man, I can do some, some exercise here that I never done before. Oh man, how fun is that? Yo, what is up people? How are you guys doing? So by now, all of you probably already know that I really like cycling. I like e-biking, road biking, especially mountain biking. But you guys know in my area, it always rains without warning. Just, just like right now, it's already cloudy. So, hold on. What's up, baby? So if the weather is bad, let's say it's too cold or it's raining, I ride my smart bike trainer. So basically I put my road bike on the smart bike trainer and then I open the Zwift app and then I ride virtually in there, you know? So I, I can still ride. The bad thing about doing this is now I have to remove the bike if I really wanna ride outside. Let's say tomorrow it's sunny. Now I have to remove the bike off the trainer and look for a spot for the trainer to be stored. And it's just, it's a lot of work. Good thing is my friends from MacBelt sent me their bike trainer. Let's unbox it, let's check it out, and let's test it. So if the weather is super nice outside and I wanna ride road, this is my main road bike right here, my TriFox road bike. I really love this thing. This is super light, full carbon. And uh, if I'm not sure if it's gonna rain outside or you know, let's say if it's wet outside and I wanna ride road, this is what I ride. If I can't really ride, this is what I ride on the smart trainer. All right, enough of that. Now let's unbox the real deal right here. So this is the MacBell SM36. Let's unbox this. Over here it says, please put the box upside down and unpack from the bottom. Let's do that. Let's do what they recommend, right? Okay, here we go. And I guess we just pull the box up like this. Hopefully it won't fall. Come on. Nice. Here we go, oops. So here it is, so you guys can see it's packed very well. Got some nice foam over here. Plastic and the cat's running around. I got the black version, I believe there's two versions of it. There's a black and a white one, so. All right, let's undo this real quick. Remove this foam or styrofoam. And over here we got some hardware, so you guys can see. All right, we got some tools. Maybe the stand, I think. All right, cool. I like extra tools. Over here, we got more hardware, and uh, this is interesting. I think this is uh, clip pedals. Old school, I like it. All right. All right. Ooh, nice saddle. Nice saddle. This is the handlebar right here. Cool beans. I don't know if it's supposed to go like this or like this, but we're gonna build this thing later. Ooh, this thing is heavy, I like that. So I'm gonna put this bike together real quick and I'll be back when I'm done. So it is finally put together and I realized that this thing is actually like a fixie bike. And I found a way to have fun using this. Check this out. <laughs> this is so much fun, look. All right, three, two, one, go. Look at that. Oh man, I can do some, some exercise here that i never done before. Oh man, how fun is that? I like it. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna be using that for, just to play around with it. So I already set it up according to my height. As you guys can see, the saddle is all the way up. There's a lot of adjustments here, like this thing can be adjusted forward and back, and the seat can be totally adjusted with this little knob right here. And the handlebars, I adjusted it according to uh, my preference because I don't want the, the handlebar all the way down. This is gonna give me a more relaxed riding like this. If the handlebar is all the way down, it's kind of like an aerodynamic position. I mean, we are indoor, so we don't need aerodynamic. But if you wanna be on that position, you can do it because this is adjustable up and down. This thing is adjustable up and down. And again, you can adjust the saddle forward and backward. I like my saddle right here. So, all right, let's sit on it. Do a little fit check test. Here we go. Perfect. Perfecto. Swak na swak. <laughs> Man, this thing's <is> fun. <laughs> okay, so time to connect it to my Zwift app. This is cool because they actually put a detailed instructions here how to connect this thing on Zwift. That is pretty cool. So I'm gonna connect it to Zwift 
and uh, let's see how accurate this thing is. But before we test it out, let me show you guys what's going on on this beautiful thing. So you guys see this little plastic tab. So this is basically just the insulation for the battery. So it was stuck in here, I pulled it out to actually activate the battery in there. So there's some electronics there, that way you can connect this to your phone, connect it to your Zwift app or whatever cycling uh, app you guys are using. This is the, the spinning wheel, I guess. I don't know what it's called, but this knob right here is for your handlebar height adjustment. So basically you unscrew it a little bit and you pull this thing out and then you can slide this thing up and down. This red knob right here is for the, for the tension. So let's say you wanna ride or you wanna pedal harder you turn this to the right, you know, so you guys can see, plus you add some tension, or you want it a little easier, turn it to the left. And this thing is actually like a emergency stop. Let's say you're pedaling so hard, let me put my foot in there. Let's say you're pedaling so hard and you got out of control and you wanna stop pedaling. Here we go, that thing's spinning. You just push this red button and that thing stops. And as you guys can see, this thing spins really good and it's super silent. You cannot hear anything on this thing. This is a good thing. Let's say you want to ride this at night. Everybody's sleeping. No one can hear you. That's nice right there. Compared to my actual smart trainer right here, this thing is loud. Hopefully you guys can hear it because I got a lapel mic, but the harder you pedal on this thing, the louder it gets. And right here, there's a rollerblade style wheel. So if you want to move it around, pick it up using the saddle. And there you go. That thing can be moved easily and on the front you got a few position let's say you want to do aero style you can do this or if you want to just ride relax you can do this or you can even do this so there's plenty of options in terms of position and right here we got like a tablet slash smartphone mount so let's say you're zwifting you can put your phone here and your tablet or your tablet and there you go you don't need a, a phone mount for this it is already included so i'm on the mech belt exercise bike right now i'm pedaling a little bit that way the sensor will be awakened so right here on my phone, it says power source, it's looking for a power source. So when I tap that thing, there it is. That's the mech built uh, exercise bike right there. I just tap it and click okay. And we can go. Let me ride, let's ride uh, New York. All right, so I can put this thing right here. And here we go, I'm riding in New York. Let me make sure that it's actually, you know, let, let's put a little bit of tension on it because it's a little, it's a little light. So I'm just kind of guessing the accuracy of this. Right now I'm doing a hundred and what? Let me, let's, let's put some more power on it. All right, so I'm pedaling harder. I'm, uh, I'm doing 235 watts, 228 watts, doing 20 miles per hour. I think it's pretty accurate. So yeah, I'm doing 230 watts, but I'm pedaling on this thing hard. Oh my God, this thing is heavy. Let me loosen it up a little bit. By the way, if you want to be super hardcore, you can tighten this thing up super tight and uh, you can just exercise the shit out of this thing. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty accurate, but when you tighten it up so much, it's like it's, you're losing power. So if you're gonna be Zwifting with this exercise bike or if you want to do any virtual ride with this thing, you can do it, it's possible. It's gonna be somewhat accurate from 100 to 250 watts, but if you go over that, let's say you tighten that knob all the way up and it's super hard, super tight, you're basically gonna lose power and it's not gonna be super accurate. But the thing is, you don't really need to ride virtually. You don't really need to Zwift. You can just jump on it, you know, exercise, tighten it up if you want to for a super heavy exercise or just, you know, ride loose, you know, loosen it up a little bit. That way you can just ride easy. And uh, the good thing about this thing is, it's pretty silent, it's super silent. It's like, I cannot hear anything when I'm using it. So let's talk about pricing here. That's what everybody likes to hear. So the Mac Belt is 399 bucks. I consider it as a smart exercise bike trainer because you can connect to some virtual riding apps. My Tax Smart Bike Trainer right there, that cost me $480 when I bought it. The bicycle probably cost 800 bucks. With that being said, if you guys wanna check out the Mech Belt SM36, I will put the link down in the description, that way you guys can check it out. It's a pretty cool exercise bike because you know, you can ride virtually, it's super silent, it's totally adjustable, that way the entire family can actually ride it. It's a nice alternative smart bike trainer because you know, you don't really need to put a real bike on it. And again, if I wanna watch a movie while I'm exercising, I can do it now, everybody's not gonna to be annoyed because it's not loud so yeah i want to thank mech belt for sending me the sm36 it's really cool shout out to you guys and uh i guess that's about it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and uh, always remember love peace and happiness only i will see you guys in my next video peace